لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك لبيك والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة السلام عليكم أعزائي الأعزاء والأعزاء أهلاً بكم في هذه الحلقة الأولى مرة أخرى أعيد على الخطاب في الحلقة الأولى في الحلقة الأولى في الحلقة الأولى في الحلقة الأولى هذا الحلقة يتعلق بالحلقة الأولى في الحلقة الأولى في الحلقة الأولى في الحلقة الأولى We would like to thank our dedicated volunteers, the staff of MetLife State, elected officials, and members of law enforcement. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to begin by welcoming the presidents, the imams, and the committees from the masajid that were involved in putting this together, along with the Eid Committee of New Jersey. And the Eid Committee of New Jersey is now celebrating, alhamdulillah, their 15th anniversary. Takbir. <laughs> alhamdulillah, we have here with us Al Huda Islamic Center, Al Tawheed Islamic Center, Bayonne Masjid, Bergen County Islamic Center, Bilal Masjid, Dar al Islah, Al Zahra Islamic Center. Imam Masjid, Islamic Center of Jersey City, the Islamic Center of Morris County, the Islamic Center of Passaic County, the Islamic Center of Union County, the Islamic Council of Hudson County, the Islamic Foundation of New Jersey, the Islamic Society of North Jersey, the Jamari Masjid Islamic Center, Jalalabad Masjid, Masjid Al Aisha, Masjid Al Salam, <coughs> Masjid Dar al Islam, Masjid Muhammad, Minhaj al Quran, Nidal al Islam, and the North Hudson Islamic Center. Takbir! Also, we have our sponsors. We thank them here today Cars and Chai, Essex Care Pharmacy, Dr. Walid Lashin. Green Apple Pharmacy, One Oak Medical Group, Princeton Vascular, Taj Diamonds, Vitane Pharmaceuticals, Islamic Relief, and UM Relief. I would now like to welcome to the stage the captain and president of Muslim Law Enforcement in New Jersey and soon to be chief of police of Bergen County, he's actually going to be sworn in August 20th as the Chief of Police of Bergen County, the first Muslim Chief of Police here, and that will be in the Bergenfield Borough Hall Courthouse at 8 a.m. Without further ado, I would like to call Captain Mustafa Rabal. Assalamu alaikum. Salaamu khair. Eid Mubarak to all. As you mentioned, my name is Mustafa Raba. I am the uh, captain of the Bergenfield Police Department. And inshallah, on the 20th of this month, I'll be the first uh, Muslim chief of police in Bergen County. I want to thank the organizers of the event, uh, the Eid Committee, and everyone who had anything to do with this uh, beautiful occasion here. Mashallah, as I look around, I see a full stadium. I want to recognize a few people. I know they'll be here in attendance. Uh, our Governor Phil Murphy, our Attorney General Garbia Grewal. I want to thank them all for their support. And now I would like to um, welcome Brother Omar Awad, 
a member of the Muslim Federation and the CEO and president of the Islamic Center of Passaic County to come and introduce a special guest. This would not have been possible without partnerships throughout the state. And we are extremely blessed in the best state in the United States to have a governor that carries this badge of diversity on his shoulder, a governor that continues to advocate for everyone, a governor that wants a fairer and a stronger New Jersey. So let's hear it for the, our guest of honor, Governor Phil Murphy. Come on, everyone, better than this. Assalamu alaikum. I wish you all a wonderful Eid al Adha, the festival of sacrifice, commemorating the time when God tested Abraham. It's a good reminder for the current day and the world we live in, not just in New Jersey, but around the country and around the world. On this uh, commemoration, on this beautiful day, uh, in New Jersey. I want to acknowledge the elected officials uh, month by month, year by year. Uh, there are more and more Muslim American elected officials in New Jersey, and that trend is only going up. And I think that's a great trend for this state, not just for the Muslim community, but for the state of New Jersey. We live I need not tell you, in a time where some in leadership, particularly in Washington, want to divide us versus them. Uh, they, they want to vilify certain communities. And no community suffers more from that vilification than the Muslim American community. And I want to leave you with one, other than wishing you a blessed festival at this holiest of days, I want to leave you with one unambiguous thought from, from our office and from me personally. We celebrate the Muslim community in this state. You are as central to this state, to our society, to our culture, to our religions, to our education, to our economy, as any community in our state. You are welcome. You will always be welcome. You have had my back, and I promise you, I have your back. Again, I wish you a blessed festival. Eid Mubarak, Assalamu Alaikum. Thank you for everything you do to make this state a great place to live, to bring up our families, to prosper. God bless you all, and thank you. And now I would like to introduce the brains behind this historic and momentous event from the Aid Committee of New Jersey. I would like to welcome Brother Khaja Khatib, also known as Tamkeen Khatib, and Brother Muhammad Sadiqallah to give us a few words before I introduce our Imam to lead us in prayers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us opportunity to celebrate this historic first time ever Eid at MetLife Stadium. On behalf of Eid Committee of New Jersey, I would like to thank all the volunteers who worked tirelessly for the event. Also, I would like to thank the Masajid and Islamic centers who coordinated with us and supported us. Special thanks to the MetLife staff, which includes Sadaf Usmani, Stephanie Manzo, Nicole LaMonica, and their whole team. Thank you again. Eidul Adha Mubarak. Have a wonderful Eid. I will pass it to my brother, Muhammad Sadekullah. Assalamu alaikum. Auzubillahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Adding on to what brother Khaja said, 
On behalf of Eid Committee of New Jersey, I would like to thank the sponsors, Cars and Chai, SXK Pharmacy, Dr. Walid Lassin, Green Apple Pharmacy, One Oak Medical Group, Princeton Vascular, Taj Diamonds, and Vitain Pharmaceuticals. I'd like to thank all the donors and the congregants who are here who made this event successful. We have toys for kids outside, and we have free food once you, clear, once you walk out of the security area. Have a great time with your family and friends. Thank you. Jazakallah. And before the Sheikh, inshallah, we would like to ask the Director of Homeland Security, Jared Maples, to say a few words. Assalamu alaikum. So I want to speak on behalf of the Governor's Administration and Security that there is no place for hate in New Jersey. It's a focus of ours, and we want to make sure that you can pray in peace as you see fit in venues just like this one. I also wanted to send another message. I think many of you are aware of the attack that happened yesterday in Norway in an event just like this one. But know one thing, we are dedicated to making sure that you can be protected, to pray in peace just like you are today, and again that there is no place for hate here in New Jersey. I see hate every single day in my job. It's unfortunately what I have to do and deal with. But I also see hope and I see love in just like settings around the world, just like this one, certainly here in New Jersey. So I, I send that message to you that there is a lot more out there, and there are a lot of people out there that believe firmly in the right to pray in peace, and that's why we're here today. So thank you all, Eid Mubarak, and have a blessed festival. And now I would like to welcome, I have the honor of welcoming our Sheikh, who is here to lead us in prayers. Sheikh Yasser Fahmi is the senior Imam at the Islamic Society of Boston Cultural Center. The Salah that we will pray is the Eid prayer, which is two raka'at, two units of prayer. In the first raka'ah, in the first unit, we will do the takbirat after the takbirah of Ihram seven times. Peri raka'at me saad takbire hongi, aur dusri raka'at me paanch takbire. Inshallah, salat al Eid raka'atan, ayyuh al ikhwa wal akhawat, raka'atan. بعد تكبيرة الإحرام سبع تكبيرات الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'abudu wa Iyaka Nasta'een Allahu Akbar Samiya Allahu Niman Hamida Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله
اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك اللهم لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا برحمتك شر ما قضيت اللهم كن لعبادك المستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم كن لعبادك المستضعفين في كشمير وكن لعبادك المستضعفين في فلسطين وفي كل عبادك المستضعفين في الصين وفي كل مكان أنت عالم به منا يا رب العالمين May Allah protect and bless our brothers and sisters across the world in China, our brothers and sisters in Burma, our brothers and sisters in Kashmir, our brothers and sisters in Palestine, and Yemen, and Syria, and Iraq, and the subcontinent, and Africa, and Asia, and Europe, and the Middle East, and all of the countries that we know of and the ones that we don't know. May Allah bless and protect all of our brothers and sisters. And may He bring them relief on this day of Eid. And may we always be concerned with them. May we always love them and make dua for them. May we never forget them. And may we remind our children about the plight of our brothers and sisters across the world. Barakallahu feekum. Eidukum mubarak wa eidukum sa'eed. Kullu amin wa antum makhir. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Hamda wa naamata laka wal mulk la sharika la. Labbayka Allahumma labbay. Labbay. Labbayka la sharika laka labbay. Labbay. Inna hamda wa naamata laka wal mulk. لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك We have five minutes to fill up all the rows. We need to start the second salah. We cannot keep delaying it. Jazakallah brothers. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi Alhamd. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. اللهم انصر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اخذل من خذل دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون واذكر الله يذكركم ودعوه يستجب لكم ولا ذكر الله تعالى أعلى وأولى عيد مبارك لعاد brothers and sisters Eid Mubarak on behalf of uh, Eid the committee. Eid Mubarak from me to your families. Eid Mubarak. Zakumullah khair. Labbayk Allahumma labbayk Labbayk la sharika laka labbayk Inna alhamda wa al-ni'amata laka wal mulk La sharika lak لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك لبيك والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك
it was a historical event. And what are your thoughts about it? How did you like the turnout? Fantastic. Mr. Usmani, how did you feel about today's event? देखिए जी अलहमदिल्ला सबसे पहले तो अल्लाह ताला का बहुत ज़्यादा शुक्र अदा करना चाहिए हम सबको कि एक बहुत बड़ी तादाद में एक ऐसा इवेंट जो कि जिसका ड्रीम था बहुत से दोस्तों का साथियों का और वो आज बाय तकमील तक पहुँचा असल एवरीबाडी माई नेम इसबीना एंड आई एम हियर नाउ विद द मेन ऑर्गेनाइजर फॉर टूडेज इवेंट ईद एट मेट लाइफ मिस्टर ख्वाजा खतीब फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू आस्क यू वट मेड यू थिंक ऑफ दिस आइडिया हैविंग ईद एट मेट लाइफ स्टेडियम Assalamu alaikum uh, first of all Eid Mubarak to all of you all the muslims around the world uh, on behalf of Eid committee uh, i would uh, like to say thank you to all the uh, masajids and the volunteers uh, who supported us i would say have been working really hard from last couple of weeks to make this ha event happen Eid committee has been doing this from last 15 years at Tina Karmi is nothing new for us the only thing is the crowd the capacity and this year uh, the itinac armory wasn't available we were looking for other places and uh, we find out about met life and we thought as as the eid was falling on sunday and at the same time met life stadium was available on sunday so this then i thought about hey hey how when all the all the people who follow different criteria and it's going to be just one eid on sunday i said hey listen we got to do this we have to book them at life and bring not just new jersey people at met life just bring all the muslims living around the tri state area you know this is how we came up with the thing and uh, we my one of my friends uh, daughter sadaf usmani is a manager for guest services here yeah. and she got me connected to the other people i mean especially events managers of any lands and other people and this is how we got in it this is how we worked out just imagine until august 1st we didn't even knew we were going to play in metlife stadium all right we we had the agreement with them but once we find out by the saudi arabia's moon sighting and the local moon sighting that eid is going to be on sunday we started working on this event within 10 days imagine within 10 days we have we started working on this and we put this event together and as you see see mashallah i would think like somewhere around we we had like 40 to 50000 people praying here we had two salahs we did and i was out there for the first salah and i realized that as many people that were here inside the stadium we had just as many people praying right outside the stadium as well as much as uh, we also had so many more people waiting to come in for the second prayer that was held and what are your thoughts i mean were there more people than you expected was uh, is it above your expectations is it below your expectations and what do you think going further is this something that you want to do reoccurring every year see the expectations were definitely were high because the kind of response we were getting from all over the tri state area and a lot of masajids were shutting down the prayer at their local masajids and they were basically announcing the people to go and pray at met life stadium that's when it all started you know and then i heard from there are few other masajids in new york city or long island all over the place they are shutting down the masajid they are telling everyone to go and down and pray in met life i had a feeling I had a feeling that we're going to a lot of people are going to show up. Uh, this is the reason why we had we had a plan A and plan B. So alhamdulillah alhamdulillah we were successful in executing that plan. Eid at Met Life with the main man Khwaja Khatib Saab. He's the man behind the idea and they always say when you think of an idea and you have the right intention the whole world unites together to put it together all the communities all the muslim communities from new york from new jersey i had friends who came through from pennsylvania all come here for eid prayers again any closing statement that you want to put up that's what i'm going to say united we pray united we stay eid committee of new jersey bringing communities together ان الحمد والنعمه لك والملك لا شريك لك